The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For as the rain and the snow come down from the sky and do not return before having watered the earth, fertilizing it and making it germinate to provide seed for the sower and food to eat, so it is with the word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me unfulfilled or before having carried out my good pleasure and having achieved what it was sent to do. And our response is from Psalm 34. I seek Yahweh and he answers me, frees me from all my fears. Fix your gaze on Yahweh and your face will grow bright. You will never hang your head in shame. A pauper calls out and Yahweh hears saves him from all his troubles. The angel of Yahweh encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. But Yahweh's face is set against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth. They cry in anguish and Yahweh hears and rescues them from all their troubles. Yahweh is near to the brokenhearted. He helps those whose spirit is crushed. Though hardships without number beset the upright, Yahweh brings rescue from them all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, In your prayers do not babble as the Gentiles do, for they think that by using many words they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. So you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. And do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Yes, if you forgive others their failings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either. The Gospel of the Lord.